Today we're going to be looking at Nova Real by Amazon, which is their new model, which allows text to video output. So the videos that you're seeing here are actually generated by uh, this new model. Uh, so I want to show you what it can do, and I want to take you through some of the new models first. So Amazon's been pretty busy. Uh, they released a Nova Micro model, which is a text-only model. They have Nova Lite, which is uh, a low-cost multi modal model um, and then they have nova pro which is more capable and then they have nova premiere which is coming in quarter one of 2025 and then there's nova canvas uh, which makes images and i can show you what that looks like here uh, you can see here my prompt was a cat wanders on a keyword and accidentally opens a browser stumbling upon a youtube channel and then it happens to subscribe to it and if you're not subscribed definitely do that um, but going back uh, we have nova amazon nova real which is their state-of-the-art video generation model uh, and that's the one we are really going to play with and tackle in this video i have a prompt that i'm going to compare amongst some of the other top video uh, text to video models so before we get into it and you guys saw some of the demos i want to talk price so bedrock has all their pricing here and you can see uh nova micro light pro so on and so forth um we are going to scroll down and you can see Amazon Nova Real for a 720p 24 frames per second video. Uh, we are looking at eight second or eight uh, cents per second. So uh, it is going to generate a five second video, which we are roughly spending 50 cents per video that we generate. So at this point of the video, if you're not subscribed, definitely consider it so I can keep making content like this one. So let me show you actually how it works. Um, you come to Bedrock in the top right, you wanna make sure you have US East one on because that seems to be the only area that it works on currently. And this is really new. Uh, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, there is something called model access. Uh, they offer 45 different base models. Um, anyway, you come here and you can see I have access granted already, uh, but you can just pick the ones that you want and you can enable them. Once it's enabled, um, if we come back to the overview, uh, there's something called Open Playground. We can click that. We can now select our model and we want Nova Real and we want On Demand and we can hit Apply. Um, so there is some stuff we can do. There is a storage bucket, there's seed numbers. So I'm just gonna leave that as zero for now. And if you hit info, it gives you like information about it uh, if you want to learn more. And we can also start with a uh, upload uh, a base image. So I've actually generated a few to start. Uh, <laughs> And I'm gonna tell you the prompt, and I'm gonna just get one going in the meantime, because you can only have one going at a time. So I'm going to try the same one you saw for the image on this page here. It's the same prompt, but this time I wanna try it with a video. So this is a curious cat wanders onto a keyboard, accidentally opening a browser, stumbling upon a captivating YouTube channel, mesmerized by the content, the cat nudges the subscribe button with its paw. So. Uh, that is generating and you can see it is going to our Amazon bucket. Uh, Amazon recommends that you do delete the videos or download them or do something with them because you will be paying for the, uh, not just the generation of the video, but also the storage of the video itself. So with that said, let's look at some of the ones that I have successfully uh, prompted and I'll tell you the prompt and the video. So this first one here, uh, that one's in progress. <laughs> the first one here, and it's gonna load. Uh, underwater city inside of a giant jellyfish with buildings and people riding seahorses um, through the coral streets. So you can kind of see the jellyfish, you can see the uh, carriages, and you can kind of see the city underneath the water. If you notice the water at the top looks like it's animated, uh, it's not the best. The people are stationary and I find that uh, I've been playing around with this. You find that some people are just kind of stationary or objects are stationary and some things just kind of glide across the screen. Like the cart doesn't look great, but I guess you could argue that it is underwater. Uh, nonetheless, go to the next one. So this one here is ancient stone giants wake from a thousand year slumber in a redwood forest, moss and trees growing from their shoulders. Uh, they begin to slowly gracefully dance in a morning fog swirls around them. 
as the morning fog swirls around them. So you can kind of see the fog. You can see the stones. Uh, there's nothing. I mean, it's in a forest. Again, it's good. <laughs> and I think the tech is really cool and it will get better, uh, especially for a first try. But I don't know if this is state of the art. And I will show you later in this video, if you stick around, how this compares to some of the other top ones. But let's go to the next one. So this one is a steampunk library where books float through the air, rearranging themselves while mechanical owls perch on brass clockwork trees. The ceiling is a massive glass dome showing the northern lights. So uh, we can see the owls flying. Uh, there's no books. The books are not flying. Uh, I don't see any books. The owls wing is coming off here <laughs> something's happening uh the the ceiling it has the glass ceiling with the northern lights so overall it's not bad it's gotten some of the parts and these are not the easiest prompts but i really want to uh test it right to see how much detail it can pick up and manage to capture up next we have two sports cars racing down a winding mountain road at a sunset the drivers exchange knowing glances as they approach a y intercept intersection Without hesitation, each car smoothly peels off into different paths, leaving, leaving a parallel tire track behind. Um, and there should be a golden hour light catches their metallic paint as they disappear around separate bends. So you can see the bend of the road. Uh, you can see the light in the back. You can see two cars that look extremely unnatural. This car is about to go flying off the mountain. Um, and... It captures some of the detail that we wanted. There's no lines, there's no Y-intercept. Uh, again, it's decent, uh, but it could be better, I believe. So this one is probably my favorite. This is a human space ranger and a kangaroo space ranger arrive on a planet filled with flowers with a really cool spaceship in the backdrop. So we got the flowers. Uh, I don't see the spaceship, uh, but the solar system has three suns. So you can see the big sun, and then these are like planets, maybe it meant to be suns, but nonetheless, you can see the kangaroo uh, and the space guy, they're just kind of floating forward. The kangaroo has a little ear twitch at the end. Uh, aesthetically, it looks nice, uh, but the actual video itself needs work, like the flowers are stuck, and it kind of sticks to the same plant pattern that I said earlier, where uh, they're kind of like stationary objects, and they're just kind of like gliding through. Uh, it's just more like panning right now than actual like full-fledged animation. Um, the one that we started with, the cat. Uh, so again, just as a reminder, this is a curious cat wanders onto a keyboard, accidentally opening a browser and stumbling upon a captivating YouTube channel. Mesmerized by the content, the cat nudges the subscribe button with its paw, and that's something you should do. So be like the cat. Well, I say that, but let's see what it actually does. Oh, look at him. He clicked it. He clicked it. Yep. Beautiful, perfect. The the cat knows best. Um, so, I mean, it's cool, I guess. I didn't know what I was expecting, but it did a good job with the text, mostly. Um, not terrible. So we can also use the reference image feature, which supports different image types, but they have to be a width of 1280 by 720 minimum and maximum up to 10 megabytes. Uh, this is interesting because some of the other uh, text to video that have reference images were a lot less strict. So uh, we are going to click this cat fixed and I'm going to show you how this looks on some of the others. I use the same exact prompt, just cat looking at a camera. We're going to hit run and uh, the provided image contains transparency, which is not supported. Please try again with a valid image. All right, take two. This time it is working. You can see it's generating. It can take up to five minutes. Um, so <laughs> for this image, I had to resize it and now I couldn't use a PNG file because apparently there's something transparent behind it. So what I did is honestly just added another layer that was just pure white behind the cat. Um, who knows how it'll come out, but it is just money that we're spending for each one we're generating. So let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll be back shortly because uh, I had how all the other ones generated, but we'll be back shortly to see what this one looks like. Okay, so it's finished and you can see the cat's head at the beginning and then it kind of like pans out and it's looking at a camera, not the camera that it's uh, where the head was close up at the beginning. You can see it's close up and then it kind of like zooms out. Uh, just for uh, comparison purposes, I did the same exact thing and you can see it with Kling and here is Minimax and you can see what they generated uh, in comparison to Nova Real.
Last one I want to try is a AI generated image of my wife. So if you've been following this channel and you're subscribed, you'll know that uh, there's a story behind that photo. Uh, but uh, we have a picture of her and we are going to say, make her put on a superhero costume and fly. Okay, so just a picture of her head and the provided images must be set with those. All right, hold on one second. Uh, some just all right some quick modification and we're back in business uh very picky with these sizes uh i find that the uh mini max and cling were nowhere near as picky but nonetheless let's see what this one comes back with while we're waiting for this to generate i want to show you my new website it's called franklina.com and it is just a nice quick and clean way to see the latest AI tools and get the a latest AI news. So if you wanna see, you know, Hugging Face releases a free and open course on fine tuning local LLMs, we can click here and we can just go and quickly read the original article. So no ads, no nothing, it's just nice and clean. Uh, if you wanna see all your tools, you can click here. Uh, we can sort by different categories. You can sort by newest, oldest, most viewed, least viewed, and there's a upvote system. So if you want a text to song AI to create your own music, you can click in, you can read more, you can upvote it if you like it, and you can also share it with your friends, try your tool, see similar tools, and start a discussion on different tools. And again, this is all completely free and you can start using it today. Uh, there's also little AI tool collections, which give you different stuff. So if you're a programmer, you can see the best AI programming tools uh, that are available currently uh, that you can use. Uh, if you want to join the newsletter, which I will only send one email per week, promise you no spam. You can get a free AI prompt guide as well. Just enter your email and you can get started there. So check it out, franklina.com. I'll have a link in the description below and you guys can start accessing the latest tools and news, which I keep up to date. So after all that, let's see if it's done and it's not, my ad was too quick or Amazon is too slow. So we'll be back. It's finished. I'm going to show you what it looks like as it's going. The reminder is the prompt is make her put on a superhero costume and fly. Um, there is no flying. There is just some panning on the video. And this six second pan clip was 48 cents. Beautiful. Um, there is this one here. And the reason why I left this for last is I did this one on a bunch of different ones and I wanna show you the results. So this one here is obviously Amazon Nova Real and uh, the prompt is the same for all the platforms. So the prompt is ancient Egyptian expertly, ancient Egyptians expertly constructing the pyramids. The aliens offer high tech to the Egyptians. So you can see what it looks like and how it looks. So with that said, I wanna show you some of the other ones that are uh, using the same prompt. This one here is Runway Gen 2. And considering that they have Gen 3, if you'll notice, this one's actually pretty similar to what Amazon Nova Real is using currently on their version one. Uh, then we have uh, the next one here, which is Kling. And they off opted for like aliens actually helping. And I thought this one was actually kind of cool. Um, and lastly, we have one from Minimax. So theirs is interesting as well. They have the Egyptians working and you can see them having the rocks. And then <laughs> out of nowhere, there's some aliens that pop up, but at least those ones had uh, some substance to it. Lastly, before the comment section gets all upset, if you want Will Smith eating spaghetti with this model and you hit run, <laughs> this request has been blocked by our content filters. So no Will Smith eating spaghetti this time around. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, there's a lot happening in the world of AI. There's so many cool advancements. Definitely subscribe if you're interested in keeping up to date with all of those. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Subscribe to Franklin, join the ride In this journey side by side Tech and wonder far and wide Franklin's world, come on